Morning, folks. Pilot, don't run away. Okay, bye. Come on. Okay. Folks, I am beat. But you don't want to hear about that. I showered yesterday. Hmm. <laughs> was a good day. Good, good day. Uh, Courtney. Thank you again for the phone holder. This thing is like so freaking useful. I don't just use it for the coffee talk. On lunch, I like to... <sighs> You're gonna hear me yawn a bunch, folks. Tough shit. Um, on lunch, I like to come in and start making my stuff. He's out playing, doing his thing. Um, I could prop up my phone and watch a little YouTube video. <laughs> it's great. It's freaking awesome. Um, yeah. Who do you guys watch on YouTube? Oh, gosh. You're stuck listening to me yawn a million times this morning. Sorry, no, sorry. All right, let's go back a day. Bagels. Um, I like getting the fresh ones from the bakery. I'm not a huge fan of like the, the, I don't know, brand name stuff. I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. Are they tasty? Yeah, for sure. But think about it. How long ago was that freaking bagel made? You know? Especially if it's like one of the brand name things, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't just made like a yesterday, the day before. No, it's like a week or two old. Like, I don't know about you, but uh, if I buy a pack of bagels, like it needs to last like the whole week. I don't get to that last one until the end of the week. And if I skip a day, forget it. Now I'm almost into two weeks. So at, at that point, it's almost like a month old or something, like three weeks old. You know, you figure like, it's got to at least take a week and a half, almost two weeks to get to the store. Between switching hands, going from the plant to the truck, from the truck to distributor, from the distributor out to the supermarket warehouse, and then they divvied up, you know? Like, there's a lot of steps there. Anyways, I had some mold on my bagel yesterday uh, because I had skipped a day. Uh, so I had a leftover. I had two leftovers. So I had to finish up the bagels Monday and Tuesday. Uh, instead of having just fresh ones. These are fresh ones as of Sunday. Gosh, sorry folks. Um, how much mold is too much mold for you to eat on your bread? I'm actually a fan that it molds up. Because I know it's real. You ever seen like the whole like, oh, look at this McDonald's French fry that's like eight years old and it's like looks damn near the fucking same. I'm like That's not good. That's not real food. Um, Dr. Melissa is probably really upset with me for saying that. Um, Dr. Melissa often prescribes uh, McDonald's and or some type of fast food venue uh, for all ailments. Uh, that is definitely part of the cure. Who knows? Maybe my mommy is saying that. She's just gained a few patients. How many of you are fat people that like to eat fast food on a daily basis? She doesn't eat on a daily basis. But, uh, but <laughs> if it wasn't a sign, last time she went and procured some uh, delicious fast food, uh, the place was on fire. Literally on fire. 
if that doesn't tell you something. Um, anyways, it's just a couple specks. I pick it off. It's good to go. Sometimes, if it's really not that much and you can just kind of tell it's fuzzy, I just cook it. And it's good to go. Uh, who cares? So, yeah, I'd be curious to know how much mold is too much mold for you. Uh, where was I going before that? Uh, yikes. I really got off a tangent here. Uh, oh, uh, YouTube. Who do you watch? <laughs> Besides me, of course. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to hear that. I don't watch any, like, one in particular. Like, I don't watch any van life people. I don't watch any small cabin on the prairie people. Like, none of that. I don't watch anybody that just jibber-jabbers like me. Probably because I couldn't stand it. But, gosh, I do that. Whoops. Um... What I do watch is a ton of fucking welding stuff. A ton. Um, but something that's totally not welding and has nothing to do with any type of trade work or handiwork is um, Destin from Smarter Every Day. If you don't watch Smarter Every Day, uh, you are seriously missing out. Maybe I'm like a pocket nerd, pocket nerd, closet nerd. I don't know. Um, I don't think so, but he just has a knack of explaining things in a way and going in like super crazy depth and making it fun. Like you learn so much granted. I'm not giving him, I'm not giving him shit because his videos are like, spot on editing's phenomenal like it's it's a well put together video all like all the time everyone um you can see it progress obviously if you go back to his really old stuff like he's been doing this for years um but i guess what i was getting at it's not every day now i don't think it ever was i think it that was just kind of like the maybe just the idea behind it um, but he has so many videos that you could watch a different video every day, like, as of right now, 23 February, like, you can watch a different one of his videos and watch, like, for a couple months straight, um, and not see the same one. Uh, anyways, he has awesome stuff. He is some type, I call him a rocket scientist. Uh, he's from Alabama, um, and he just, I think he's maybe a, I don't know, some type, maybe a, uh, mechanical engineer or some, something like that. He is an engineer, um, and he's stupid smart. Uh, he's like really smart when it comes to, I guess, like physics and like, uh, uh, m movement, I guess. I don't know. He knows all these crazy terms, like, oh, the velocity and this and that, and blah, 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 like, the momentum and the, I don't know, those are, like, super basic things, so, like, I don't even know the words he's using, um, but he uses them, and he's really smart, and his videos are mm, super entertaining, um, super interesting, there's, he did a, um, a special on how birds fly. Nuts. Freaking nuts. Like, it's cool. How helicopters fly. That was another cool one. Um, yeah. And I'm talking like deep dive. Like, he ends up... I don't know if he owns any or if he rents them or what. But he rents these, like, super crazy expensive, like, slow motion cameras that are tens of hundreds of thousands of frames per second. Uh, so, like, crazy. And, yeah. Most recently, he's got a bunch of supersonic baseball cannon stuff out. <laughs> uh, awesome guy. Awesome, 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 awesome guy. Um, that's about the only non-welding guy I watch. Other than that, 
I used to watch a bunch of Weld.com uh, when Bob Moffat was on there. I really like the way he teaches. Uh, he made sense to me. Um, that's pretty much how I taught myself how to weld um, when I was just first getting into the whole bit of it. Uh, when, I, when I say teach myself, I didn't teach myself. I used that as a resource and it was just a bunch of trial and error. Um, who else? Uh, I like watching Jake Schofield. Um, Weld Tube. Uh, Western Welding Academy. Um, yeah, that's about that's about my YouTube stuff. Who do you watch? Tell me. Uh, I was gonna talk about something else before I even got on that topic. Well, that's something. Hmm. Oh, uh, update on the water leak situation. I can't tell. I, I think, I'm hoping, and I'm erring on the side of, like, the shower valve was just cracked open, so it was doing that. Um... But also, I'm a little bit concerned because now that I shut the uh, the ball valves off going out to the shower, um, the water pump doesn't uh, do the map. Remember, I, I remember I explained the maps, uh, which I, that's not concerning, but it is. So it makes me, because it's done that like forever. But it would only do a single one on like startup. Going back like a couple days ago, it would do that every couple minutes. It would do a meh. Like there was a slight loss in pressure. Not enough to make it the pump run, but just a single meh. Can I show you guys this? Maybe, I don't know. For such, like, Pilot's such a good dog. If he would just not do dumb stuff sometimes, I'd be, like, super even more appreciative. I mean, I'm appreciative. It's just hanging out. Hi, bud. The door was closed and everything. Okay, we're still recording. I'm not going to keep talking to myself here. Um, yeah, so I don't really know about this water leak thing. I don't really know how to, I don't really know how to go about testing it. Like, I mean, I need to clear out the garage so this is gonna wait until like another month or two where it's nice out and I could just empty all my shit out into a parking lot somewhere scattered about and I don't know because if, if it's like ugh, water has to be coming out somewhere in order for the pump to want to you know keep engaging But I guess the good part is, it's not in this area. So it goes tank, pump, line under the floor, out. It goes to the faucet, goes to the hot water heat exchanger to give me hot water. And then, well, then it kind of, all right, so the cold one goes straight to the faucet. And then I actually have it branching off, and it goes to the exchanger, then it tees off again, and it goes back to the shower and back to the faucet. So at least from those components, it's not leaking, because I can turn the pump on and it doesn't... Um, so it has to be just the two lines that I have cut off about, like, right here, back to the shower, 
Um, oh. Don't know. Don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, I like totally threw myself off today, folks. Um, I didn't plan on talking about YouTube. I didn't plan on uh, talking about moldy bread. Uh, I don't remember my plan for the discussion today. I don't. Um, yep. Good chat. Hmm. Let's read the tea. When fear is forcing you to give up, Call upon your heart's courage to continue. Ooh. Solid. That is solid. Um, especially nowadays. When so many people are scared to frickin' speak up and stand up. Um, man, if you know something's frickin' right, speak the fuck up. Or wrong. Um, yeah, like there, you, like, I don't know, there's like, not a lot of discussion for like, what's right and wrong. There is, but isn't. Some people have like a, an idea, no, that's okay, or no, this is okay, like, there's clearly some shit that's wrong. Like, there's no question about it. Killing somebody, that's wrong. Rape, that's wrong. Like... Um, doing, like, other legal shit. That's wrong. Um, being, like, corrupt. That's wrong. Um, there's not, like, a lot of gray area up for discussion. Um, and nowadays, I feel like there's so many people that want to, like, tiptoe this line because they don't know what the fuck's acceptable or not. Like, oh, like, it's ridiculous. No. Quit being dumb. Have courage. Um, yep. Yep. I wonder if that individual is going to reach out and say I'm aggressive again. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad! Ooh, that's nice. Yeah. Stuck. All right. Well, I'll be straight with you guys. I don't remember what I was supposed to talk about today. I uh, just got going and then brain dumped everything that I was supposed to talk about, I guess. Which really, I mean, I don't know. I think by now you guys know like not to expect a whole lot from these. Like sometimes it's probably gonna be pretty good and sometimes it's just gonna suck. That's stuck. Ah, we're safe. <laughs> All right, let me get these in here. Let me have a sip of coffee and then I'll let you go. I'm going to let you go. Why are simple truth pasture raised eggs so exceptional? Too funny, guys. Come on.
satisfactory. It's not the fag land. It ain't the fag land today. Is anybody offended by me saying that? Because I don't give a fuck. <laughs> All right. Another tangent. We're going to keep going, folks. Um... like that statement right like I'm offended has like morphed so much like what happened to like I'm offended like I'm just gonna remove myself from the situation like no one else is responsible for your like well-being and your happiness besides yourself now I'm not saying people should do bad things to other people you know what I mean? And then, and then be like, oh, well, just like remove yourself if someone's doing bad things to you. No, not saying that. Well, I mean, yes, get yourself the fuck out of there. Not saying that person's justified and like okay to do that. No. Um, but like differing of opinions and viewpoints on things like has gotten so fucking controversial that no one's willing to speak about it because they're afraid that like someone's going to get upset. Well, who cares? Fine. Like, then don't listen to me. Like, you literally have a choice to not watch, listen, or have anything to do with other people's viewpoints. Especially nowadays. Because, like, back back in the day, like, my parents growing up, like, there was none of this shit. Shit, I mean, like, when I, when I was little, like, there was none of this stuff. Like, the, the first thing to come out that I'm, that I can remember was, like, freaking AOL, like, chat, you know what I mean, um, and then, then I think it was MySpace, or was it flip-flop, whatever, um, but, uh, before then, you had to, like, open a book and read, you know, like, about somebody's opinion, and then get mad, like, just put the fucking book down, or, like, you're out in a social setting, and, like, just either, you either walked away, or you punched him in the face, I feel like we'd a lot, I feel like we'd be a lot better, and, like, I'm not saying violence is always the answer, but, like, just punch a motherfucker in the face. Saying some, like, audacious stuff, like, get the hell out of here, man. What happened to that? I mean, of course, now it gets fucking escalated, and people want to pull out knives and guns, and, like, no, we don't need to go that far. Good old knuckle sandwich. <clears throat> um... Because nobody's scared now. You know what I mean? Like, nobody's scared. It's just like a, oh, what are you going to do? Like, put a nasty comment on my, like, Instagram or my YouTube or my Twitter or, you know, Jimmy's tweeting bad about me, man. You know, like, well, go fucking punch Jimmy in the face. You know? We got, we got away from the whole... Uh, the whole, like, sticks and stones of break my bones, words will never hurt me. Like, no. Everybody nowadays gets super fucking butthurt about words. Um, super butthurt. And uh, it's gotten to the point now, like, watch, like, I'm saying all this, and someone's like... Someone's, like, harvesting these videos and, like, storing them somewhere so that I can't, you know, delete them or whatever. And who knows, like, 10, 20 years from now, like, I go I go to be on, like, town council or something like that or school board or something like that to want to, like, do what we should do and be, like, public servants to our communities um, instead of just being a corrupt motherfucker and being in being in bed with all these businesses, um, like half of the freaking administrations everywhere, your, even your town people, um, talking to freaking, uh, my buddy the other day, he's got a couple businesses in Connecticut, Rhode Island, Oregon, stuff like that. Um, his most recent Rhode Island venture, he was fighting tooth and freaking nail, uh, to get, a fire inspection done and 
like it sure as shit sounds like there's there's the whole good old boys club in that town and if you're not from around there nope uh if you're not a business that kind of offers them anything like you're on like the super back burner we can care less how long it takes to get to you like good luck um where is it going to go this oh yeah somebody's totally like keeping these and uh like they're gonna like do what the, do what's happening now and don't get me wrong should some of the stuff come out absolutely because you don't you don't know what people are doing um and i don't condone like these nasty fucking people um doing bad things with kids and you know sexually uh what like abusing freaking women and all this stuff like not okay should that be released absolutely get them the fuck out of office like no questions asked um but like somebody's like gonna hold on to the video and be like see he said to punch people in the face you can't be on school board <laughs> oh man that'd be funny i wonder are there school fights anymore or is it just everybody, like, fights on, like, their keyboard? And then it gets to a point where a kid brings a gun to school and freaking shoots people. Like, when instead, like, just meet me in freaking meet me in home court at 2.15 and punch you out. Like, <laughs> I'm not even that old. Like, I'm not even old. And that's, like, old. that's like a fucking lifetime ago, I feel like. Especially in, like, societal norm instances like that's like not even a few thing i feel like gosh man this coffee talk went on a wild fucking ride <laughs> oh good stuff good stuff all right i think that's like that's probably enough that's probably enough pilot what do you think bud is that enough yeah all right all right, folks. Have a good day. Um, yep. Cheers. Aha, I didn't knock it over.